Hi, I'm Katie Couric and welcome to Eye to Eye. The environmental movement has new urgency now, but 80-year-old Art Rosenfeld was preaching green before going green was cool. Correspondent John Blackstone talked with California's godfather of green. In the battle against global warming, California's secret weapon is an 80-year-old physicist with a passion for finding ways to save energy. Uh, here's a old-fashioned distribution system, but a new 94% uh, efficient furnace. In his own home, Art Rosenfeld does what he can to be energy efficient. At his office, he turns out every unneeded light. As a member of the California Energy Commission, his ideas make a difference to everyone in the state. 30 years ago, he started wondering why Americans waste so much energy. It took us about three days to discover that the real answer was energy in the United States was dirt cheap. And what's dirt cheap gets treated like dirt. To stop waste, he helped lead a revolution. In everything from appliances to home construction, California began setting strict standards for energy efficiency. Houses going up today use far less energy than those built three decades ago. To bring even more savings, California has launched a program to put solar panels on a million roofs over the next 10 years. Rosenfeld says that should continue California's impressive record for conservation. And we have stayed constant in electricity per person for 30 years, even though there's been huge electrification, of course. Uh, houses are bigger, refrigerators are bigger, televisions are not only bigger but more numerous, uh, and standby power uh, is now added another 10%. Uh, your house is full of uh, little what we call vampires, which are charging your garage door opener and your dust buster and your computer and so on all the time. Rosenfeld first tackled conservation in the 1970s as a way California could avoid building a new nuclear plant. The savings have now gone far beyond that. I think nothing really succeeds like success. We had uh, a very aggressive uh, anti-nuclear governor who wanted to see electric efficiency instead of nuclear power plants. Um, it turned out to work very well. Uh, we put in building standards, which were quite popular. It turned out people liked to save money on new homes. We put in appliance standards, which were quite popular, and it just sort of took off on its own. Now he sees a new role for conservation, fighting global warming. To delay global warming, uh, I, I think uh, it's becoming known worldwide that you bet first on efficiency, uh, you get halfway there by efficiency, and then you start bringing in renewables, which, as I say, involve photovoltaics, wind, uh, biomass, biofuels, maybe nuclear. Lots of different approaches. But they all cost money, uh, whereas energy efficiency saves you money. In California now, even though our prices are higher because we don't have coal, or we don't burn coal, um, we're saving $200 per person per year on electric bills, and we're laughing all the way to the bank. It is not just California that has saved. The economic benefits of efficiency have spread as the state's energy conservation standards have been widely adopted. Although the manufacturers griped at the beginning and said this would be the end of civilization as we know it, uh, in fact, uh, after the California standards were passed, they never made another refrigerator which wouldn't uh, sell anywhere but comply with the California standards because it just wasn't worth having two sets, two stocks of refrigerators. So, so California changed the way refrigerators are made across the country? Across the world. Rosenfeld says in energy, a lot of little things can make a big difference, like the new fluorescent light bulbs that use at least two-thirds less power. These are not expensive anymore. Not expensive anymore. Invest two bucks, save 50. That's not bad, huh? <laughs> not bad indeed. John Blackstone, CBS News, Sacramento.